All right, all right, all right. It's Jared here from Crypto Plan. And we're going to do something different today. We've started a little sub channel within the channel. And it's called Mining Charts by Crypto Plan because there is gains like crypto in the mining sector. They may not play out as quickly, but they're there. And I'm going to keep you on the pulse of these mining charts and the things I'm investing in. So today will be four mining stocks that I am buying. So stick around, pay attention, and uh, I'll walk you through the charts, what I'm seeing, a little bit of the fundamental thesis case, and uh, in general, you know, mainly the charts and what I think the charts have done and what they are going to do. So before I get into the analysis, please like the video, please subscribe to the channel if you're new and you like mining stocks and you like gains in mining stocks that are like crypto. And also uh, click that notification bell if you so desire. Okay, first cab off the ranks is Rainer Silver Corp. Now, basic bull thesis behind this one, Rainer Silver have properties from Mag Silver that Mag Silver did not have the time, energy or funds to explore because they got onto such a hot property in, in the, um, the Fresneo district. Uh, I mean, the one is Ipio Vein uh, with the Fresneo mining company. Now, what they have is amazing. Uh, they just need to find it. So it is an exploration company. It's a very new exploration company um, and we're waiting on results. But the thing is that the people behind Mag Silver are all about high grade, high density silver. So lots of silver in a small place, small mining costs. So the mining can make a profit in the bear market and the bull market, right? So that's the idea with silver is you want high grade. Rainer Silver is chasing that. Dr. Peter McGore is the chief geologist for MAG and therefore the chief geologist for Rainer because it was a property he was looking at. So he's naturally been kind of sold with the property as an, as an advisor. The chances are when they find the silver, they're just going to team back up with MAG who will have money from their property that's actually going to be profitable soon and mining and making money. And they'll probably team back up and fund the actual production of the mine. But in the meantime, we're looking at the charts and we just, we're more concerned about what it will do based on the price of silver and that news. So there's two catalysts for Rainer Silver. One, the price of silver. Two, uh, the results from drilling targets. So I, I, I understand that they're heavily drilling out a property right now trying to find the hot spots you know the the uprisings the upwellings of these hot liquefied silver um so that's what they're doing so yeah you could see this thing pop out without silver popping out but in general it'll probably pop out with silver because the run up here you can see from and we're on a monthly chart. So from the 1st of June 2020 through to uh, September or mainly August 2020, when silver spiked in price, the price of Rainer Silver's shares was up, up there at $1.70, right? And this is on the TSX, so $1.70 Canadian. And then silver has been in a correction for nearly a year. So therefore, Rainer Silver has been in a correction for nearly a year, you know, because it's it's a it's a it's a play on silver, so it's reacting to the silver price, um, and you'll see this a lot in the silver space, and it's the same in crypto. If Bitcoin goes down, Bitcoin miners go down, right? You know, um, if you know crypto is in a bear market, you're going to see all the miners, um, you know, all the all the cryptos kind of go through these bearish kind of things corrections, whatever you call them. So um, it is an accumulation phase. So for me, it was a good time to buy and I, I've been purchasing at the lower end of this flag. Uh, so if we just draw that line there down here, you know, this is the lower end of our flag. Give that a white color. So we're looking for this thing to break out of this downward triangle pattern um, and then kind of accumulate back around and reach all time highs. Like I say, two catalysts that'll that'll slowly do it with the silver price. It'll react to the silver price, and or it'll react to news. Um, and you find these stocks jump big when news uh, of good drilling results appear, and sometimes they fire to the upside a couple of days before the drilling results out. Because even though there shouldn't be inside information, there is inf inside information because there's always someone that's not quite on the inside, but not on the outside either. And they start putting in big purchases and then the market 
sees that, reads that, you know, speculates on it, and then next thing you know, two or three days later, you get these great presentations or drill results, and all of a sudden, it's a $5 billion project because of all the silver is there. Anyway, um, I can't tell you when and why that's going to happen and how and timing. All I know is that it's in an accumulation pattern, and it's at the bottom of the accumulation range. So for me, that is a good time to buy, and that's why I've been adding two little positions to it. You know, I'm not putting trillions of dollars into this. I'm not even putting thousands of dollars into this. I'm just putting some money into this because I'm spreading my portfolio over a series of high risk, high reward, speculative uh, exploration plays, some mid tier kind of producers that I think will do really well in the commodities bull run. And that, you know, when the gold and silver price goes up rapidly later in the year. And then, yeah, I've got some into like major you know, uh, ETFs or, you know, royalty companies and things like that. So I'm spreading it around. So Rainer, highly speculative, small amount of money in. But the thing is, um, Mag Silver is like at 20 or $18 a share now, and it's about to be a producer. So if you think about that, of holding this for a while until it becomes a producer, you can get some massive gains, uh, like those crypto gains, right? It's just over a longer time frame, you know, but you can kind of look away and, you know, just keep up to date once every three months on what's going on and decide whether you want to hold, buy, sell, take profits, that kind of thing. So Rainer Silva is a buy for me and I'm going to be adding and adding and adding as along the journey. Van Gold, uh, this is a chart that I love. This is a chart that I love. They are a silver miner. They are about to go into production. They're in Mexico, so they're in a good district. They've, you know, there's no real... Um, you know, scary things going on in this, you know, they are actually about to start producing silver and making money. So you can see they've been through that journey where, you know, uh, up here, probably really exciting news, found a property, exploring a property. Um, but then the reality is that you've got to actually get through the process of getting permitting, you know, proving out a resource, doing all the things, bear markets occur, price action drops, goes to the rock bottom. Nobody wants it here. You know, see the, see down here, zero volume kind of bouncing around between, what is it, three cents and seven cents, right? So there's, there's nothing going on here. No one wants it here. Then, you know, a bit of news comes in, um, maybe something happens, you know, people get bullish on it again, pulls back, creates this W pattern, right? This double bottoming pattern. I like this pattern because it, it, it is a clear indicator that that is the floor in the price. We're onwards and outwards on, on, on a trend to the upside, right? So it's two couple of things you look at here. Um, got this angle down and so that's 52 degrees. And we've got the angle up. So we want to kind of see if we're kind of following the same trajectory. Uh, where are we? So 52 degrees. So we're actually kind of coming out there a little bit steeper than we came in, you know. So it's kind of normal to kind of come out the way you come in. But what's that saying probably is that people are excited about it. People are thinking um, it's going to become a producer. It's going to get a re-rate. The market is going to add value to it based on the fact that it's now got projected cash flows and all that sort of thing. You can see volume is coming in here. So I like this one. And the other thing to look out for uh, on these kind of things on the monthly chart is that it's just broken out of a key level. So those two tests at the upside there. So it's two smashes at the downside, double bottom, then this double top, which kind of said it was going down again. And now it's broken through that level, which is bullish. And it also is kind of had a little back test towards that line. So wouldn't be surprised if something like this actually makes a big move fairly soon. Uh, if we go down to the daily, we might be able to get a better picture. Um, yeah, so the kind of a little bull flag playing out there. So once again, it's probably going to react to the silver price as much as anything as a major catalyst. But I guess when the news comes through that they've done their first pour and there's a bit of excitement around it, sometimes that causes a little bit of money to flood in these sort of stocks. Um, but I think this kind of action here is the market anticipating that. So from 21 cents, the market's anticipating it being a producer soon. So 
not saying we're late to the party. It's just that, you know, it, that was the re-rate there from 20 cents up to 50 cents. But once again, thinking long term, thinking uh, zooming out, uh, we can just start kind of having a look at what sort of crypto gains, crypto style gains we can get here. So from from this price action right here, all the way to all time highs, we've got a 24,183% gain. Now that could take several years, but if you're willing to hold and this chart retraces all the way back to its all time highs, there's some greedy targets up there. But you know, that's, you know, that's a, a theoretical situation where you're going, well, if I put in a thousand now and then in five years, I'll take out a thousand. The reality is that you like to play the market. You like to be involved in the market. So you might be having, I will put a couple of thousand in now. I'll take some profits to make my initial thing risk-free when it gets up to this resistance level at 180, 190, and then I'll ride the next bit of the way, I'll get up to this level, 20 bucks, I might take another little bit of profit, get up to this level, I might take another little bit of profit, and then, you know, the last bit I've got, I'll let that ride forever and ever and ever, depending on what happens. But you're also watching the news and watching what goes on, whether, you know, things go well or mine does exactly what it's meant to. So Vanguard is a definite thing that I have accumulated and buying and willing to buy more. I'd probably be buying all the way up to the $2 mark to then kind of scale out beyond there. Um, silver producer, Mexico, uh, t uh, TSX, and uh, is about to start turning cash flow, which is really good, you know. Uh, Aris Mining, uh, I don't know much about this company fundamentally except for the team that build this company are successful in building mining projects and big mining projects, you know, so they have been a part of some of the biggest gold mining names that they've taken them from nothing to two to five billion dollar companies that, they've, that have then been sold off to major mining companies. So, uh, Aris Gold is a play on a solid team. Um, the reason why my my investment went in is because of the chart and what I see here. So on this monthly chart, I see that uh, I mean the market moved up and said there is a a good you know uh, a good investment or you know a good amount of mo money or a good reason for for people to be in this stock. The the the, the stock hasn't fallen very low so it's kind of moved up had a little bit of a kind of wiggly wobbly action there but since then it's it's tightening into a range so you know between three dollars and one dollar eighty there is a nice little tight range good volume defined node extra volumes coming in so there's a bit of a battle between bulls and bears so i can see this thing breaking out soon um this is the sort of chart and company that could grow very quickly because they're kind of trying to prove something out, get something into production quickly, buy something else that's already into production, you know, really take advantage of the next bull run for themselves and their shareholders. So I'm happy to put a little bit in this. Uh, haven't got a massive position in it, but once again, it's something that I would be adding to over the journey um, because it is still in the early phases. It's not like, you know, they're still in exploration um, they're not actually uh, anywhere near being a producer, but they're a team that is uh, well able to get a mine into production and or buy other mines along the way. So they're, they're not one you'd be as scared about as a kind of unknown, unknown team that, you know, may or may not do well because they've got some good plot of land that's got high grade gold. Newfound gold. This is purely based on not the charts, um, except it is based on the charts, but I would, if I usually saw a chart like this, I would go, this has moved too far, um, I've missed the boat, I don't want to get in on it, but I'm going to kind of lay out the case for newfound gold and do your own research on this, but they potentially have found one of the most highest grade gold deposits besides maybe some, you know, a few others in the world uh, known in this, you know, in the mining industry. The gold is a very high grade. Um, they have found it. They just need to kind of find all of it and prove it out. But their initial drilling and their initial research says 
that it is it is the the you know the, the be all and end all of gold mining, right? You know, high grade, which means low cost mining. Um, and a lot of cash flow, right? So Newfound Gold, still an, still an exploration company. They're not mining and, and producing yet, but really exciting. Um, they have, you know, the, the, the results they've got are similar to what Kirkland Lake had found in Fosterville in Australia, I believe. But the Newfound Gold's property is in Canada. Canada is a very friendly mining jurisdiction. The gold price is heading towards the moon itself so things like this will move really well with the gold price and if you if you just see this one as well on the on the daily chart like most gold mining stocks since uh, august so since yeah so since august uh, 2020 which was back here no back here so gold peaked in august look what this thing's done it's gone up since August. So it is not reacting to the gold price because it's reacting to the results that this company has. So the reason why I am happy to buy at the top is because I believe that it is one of those special stocks where it is getting the price dr is driven by the market wanting it because of the you know the things that they're into, right? I'm not saying there won't be pullbacks, but I'm not willing to wait for pullbacks. Um, I think if if there's an obvious pullback point, it may kind of retest down towards five dollars twenty. But once again, I'm not willing to wait. Uh, there's a little gap here, maybe in the seven dollar range. I'm not willing to wait. I will add more if it ever goes there. A pullback on this stock is not something that would make me go, "Oh, I've got to get out because I've just my my position's gone negative." It would just say, "Oh, great, now this is the time where I can add because I didn't get in early enough." I'm going to show you Kirk and Lake Gold before we wrap this up uh, and show you why, um, uh, you know, why you kind of would speculate on something like this. Kirk and Lake Gold, we'll go back to the monthly so we can kind of actually fit it in. Uh, because of their really high grade gold uh, since December 1st, 14, they have continued to go up and up even through bull and bear markets. They have not really seen much retracement and when they have... It's short-lived, you know, they're just more buying opportunities, 40% dip there, uh, the COVID dip naturally. But, um, you know, since, you know, since buying this stock in the 1st of June 2015, having that massive 244% month la later, whatever that was, whether it was finding the gold or realizing they had the, the kingpin of the gold discovery. And then from then on, it just kept going up and up and up, right? So... If you can kind of think that that newfound gold stock is somewhere like that was, you know, that if that's that 108% candle, bit of a pullback, then firing to the upside, then we would probably be somewhere about here in, in the journey of Kirkland Lake Gold. So uh, long way to go, a long way to go. And um, there's going to be plenty of upside. So... Uh, four thousand nine hundred percent there from from you know if we were calling that as a breakout there and then where Kirkland Lake Gold went uh, in like five to ten years, Newfound Gold similar story uh, gonna keep going up because of the property and once again there is a really good YouTube video that kind of describes describes from a geological level how high these grades are and what they're doing so please do a bit of research for yourself and find that out uh, just google i mean youtube search newfound gold corp and you'll probably get a nice little introduction to how high quality uh, and how exciting this newfound gold project could be anyway we're nearly at 20 minutes i don't like videos to usually go this long but there's four stocks that i'm putting money into and do your own research on them, but you know, there's the charts, there's my thesis. You know, you've got the speculative plays, you've got the long term explorer come producer cases, you've got the team that has done it before and will do it again, and you've got the newfound gold, which is the pinnacle and the, you know, the oh my god, this is the hottest stock or could be the hottest stock because of the deposit they've found. Um, so yeah, there's a, there's a nice range there. There's a nice varied set of purchases there for myself. And, you know, there's a couple of, 
uh, you know, not they're not all speculative. You know, there's things that are starting to cash flow, things that probably will cash flow very soon, and there's things that are going to prove out bodies of ore that are extremely lucrative. So um, I like them and uh, I'm just putting them on their radar for you. So please like this video if you want these kind of insights into new companies and charts that you haven't seen before. And also if you want to buy stocks, I do have a description in the link. I use interactive brokers. You can uh, buy stocks from all over the globe. I'm in Europe here. I've set it up, you know, I, and I can buy Australian stocks. I can buy uh, TSX stocks. US stocks with that. And uh, I think you'll get a free share if you set up an account through the link. So interactive brokers or, you know, you can find your own broker. There's plenty of them out there in this day and age. So yeah, like the video, subscribe, and please click that notification bell if you desire. I've been Jared. This has been Crypto Plan, Mining Stocks by Crypto Plan, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye now.